I'm at the Thorncroft Torpedo Boat Bay something. Uh, what do you even call it? Yeah, this is Torpedo Bay. And there's the museum up there. You can see um, some local artists have painted all the walls around here. What do you think of that? Um, you can see here there's an undercutting, so the um, I think someone, someone, people, people here have stacked these stones. Maybe that's original actually. But you can see the colour of the mortar here. It has a lot more lime in it. Um, and probably was just used the uh, salt water that was down here in the, on the beach. Salt water in the sand and the aggregate that was on the beach already. And maybe even some of the chipping, because you can see they chipped this cliff away to make room for the for the ammunition store. This was where they stored the ammunition. So um, they probably broke up and used the aggregate as long as well as the sand. Makes sense, doesn't it? Um, <coughs> here's some some more, some more modern concrete work, you can tell here the aggregate has um, rounds in it, which is from the Waimakariri uh, River. Someone's been picking up a lot of glass here actually. Eight or nine years ago, I started this rock pile here, throwing the stones up there. And the beach was littered with all different grades of stone. Most of it, I think, actually from this wall being washed in the southerly. The main wind, southerly storms come over this uh, saddle here. That's actually, that's an island, but over here comes straight through. And quite big waves come in here, you can see. Um, it, it eating away here. <coughs> so anyway, yeah, I chucked a ro load of stones up there, and actually people have been maintaining it while I was away. So that was cool. Um, a, that's part of an old brick. You can see um, clinker brick, which has been rounded off over the over the years. Um, there's a mask, face mask, that's from the 2020s during the pandemic. Uh, this is the most interesting little part here I've found. So the torpedo boat was on, on rails here, it was stored in this area. Maybe it had a, a roof over it, and it was on tracks, and they slid it out there. So it was too, like a, I guess I could do some more research on what it was, but I imagine it was like a petrol powered or steam powered. Wait, let me see. Okay, actually, there, someone's put up a plant. Look at this beautiful, very very beautiful shape there. <laughs> a wave piercing hull, and. Looks like it may have been steam. It's built in London by the shipwright Thorncroft. Defender was originally armed with a spar torpedo. A long pole with a bomb at the end <laughs> to be driven up to the enemy vessel and detonated below the waterline. This was later replaced with two projectile torpedoes. Defender was stored here in a shed and built a built of corrugated iron and a wooden frame. <coughs> After demolition, the boat was buried in Pura Bay across the harbour. It was excavated in 1999 and was partially reconstructed. Hull is now kept in the old magazine building. Huh. I don't know. What was it powered? Oh, torpedo boat was never needed effective service. It gave a popular demonstration in the Littleton Regatta 
the boat could only be launched in calm conditions. <laughs> Classic. The torpedo boat shed in the foreground. This one here. Um, huh. So there were two ships here. That, and there was another shed here. So that shed was right here. The torpedo boat was here in the middle. And then over there they had like what looks like a coastal frigate or no just a slipway actually for cleaning boats so <coughs> so as a result uh, there's a lot of so as a result there's um it's been heavily excavated this area and moved around the soil has been moved around a lot um i just found here two copper nails which would be probably part of the sort of uh, the rest boat restoration area for planking or anything like that um, you can see a layer here a layer of seashells here um, more clay then a very thick layer of clay and then another layer of debris here with glass uh, here you can see actually the type of um, that's probably more modern some sort of asphalt I'm keeping these nails uh, <coughs> here's more of this asphalt stuff with seashells there's um there's charcoal from fires and then uh, some sort of clams or something uh where what else are we looking at layers of old plastic uh, Layer of, layer of sort of ash here more plastic sort of rusty a rusty iron layer here um, but unfortunately nothing too interesting that's popping out hi feet. that's magazine bay See the shit there.